Hey guys, welcome to your May 2024 prediction reading for Aquarius. This is going to be for uh, your May. You can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see what is surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for May. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situation and energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Uh, what else? Uh, so Aquarius, tell me about Aquarius. What's surrounding Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know? What can Aquarius expect for uh, for uh, the month of May 2024 for Aquarius? For Aquarius. Six of Swords. The Magician Gemini Virgo. Three of Wands and the Nine of Cups. I feel like you guys are finding your happy place at this time. <laughs> Excuse me. So let's say if you guys are on the road a lot, you guys travel a lot, maybe you guys travel for a lot for work, perhaps you guys are digital nomads. Like, I feel like you guys live in the world. I feel like you guys love moving around. You're loving your freedom. You're loving your independence. You're creating things here. You're creating basically the life that you want. And I feel like you're, you guys are definitely really happy with where you guys are at right now, Aquarius, okay? Let's see what else we have. Seven of Cups and a Ten of Wands. I do feel like you're feeling a bit overwhelmed. I do feel like you have a lot of ideas here too that you want to execute here. But I do feel like you're just definitely kind of overwhelmed by the ideas here and I feel like it's really important for you to take it one step at a time you know and not rushed or not take on too much because you will get overwhelmed here tell me about the ten of wands it's interesting right? do you feel like a lot of guys are living a blessed life here and I feel like it's interesting because I feel like when you're by yourself if you're traveling I feel like it's a sense of you kind of reconnecting with yourself but I do feel like, you know, some of you guys could be also avoiding your pain and your hurt here or that you guys are running from it. So make sure you guys check in with yourself and don't uh, diminish your pain and your hurt here, you know, whatever caused it here, don't turn your back on it. We have the seven of cups here and the four of cups. It's interesting because I, I do feel like some of you guys could be running away from your pain. But I also feel like you guys could be living your best life at this time here, too. I wouldn't say that you're completely running from it, but I feel like you guys have a hard time dealing with your feelings here and dealing with your grief and your pain and your suffering here. So I do feel like some past stuff is definitely coming back up or rising up to the surface. And I feel like you're being asked not to avoid it. You're, you're being asked to face it here, okay? I do feel like you guys are warriors here. You guys are fighters here. You know, some of this, I, I feel like some of you guys kind of like are in this energy of like, you know what? I don't have time to deal with that. I'm just surviving here. But you also have to keep in mind that, you know, anything that you don't resolve, it always has a way of coming up to the surface, you know? So the magician here, Ten of Pentacles, wow. Looking, looking good, Aquarius. Looking good here. Six of Swords. I feel like it is looking good, but I do feel like it could be a lot better here, you know? But, you know, just take your time with it. Don't rush. You know, kind of take your time going through your process here. With the Six of Swords, the Empress here. There's been a lot of growth and expansion in your life. And I feel like you guys are really tapped into your creativity. And one of the interesting th things I'm getting here is that some of you guys could 
be content creators. Some of you guys could, you know, have a strong background in social media and that's how you make your money. Maybe that's the work that you do. Maybe that allows you the freedom to go wherever you want. All right. So, you know, I do feel like when it comes to maybe what you're doing here, I do feel like you guys are about to reach another milestone where I feel like your finances are going to increase here. All right. And it could be that you're getting more sponsors or something like that. You could be getting more views. You know, what else do we have here for uh, Aquarius? What else does Aquarius need to know, look out for, work on for May 2024? So we have the Six of Pentacles here and Temperance. I do feel like a lot of you guys could be really connecting with your guides and your angels and your ancestors at this time here too. We have a Page of Pentacles here and the Eight of Cups. We have the Fool and the Hermit. The Fool, Aries energy, and the Hermit, Virgo energy. Okay. You guys are definitely... You know, I feel like you guys are definitely kind of like slow to release some of your burdens here. But I feel like you guys are definitely actively working on it. You know, fixed signs, you know, have a tendency to hold on to things. You know, so... Not that there's no progress in your lives. There is. It's just... It happens a lot slower for you guys, which is okay. So there's nothing to worry about. There is progress here. You guys are doing something here. Uh, it just happens a little slower, but I feel like you guys are stepping into the place of just enjoying the process here. We have this tower and the Six of Pentacles. The Temperance card and the Hangman. You know, some of the things that you're holding on to, the best way to release it is actually through, through, through meditation. And some of you guys could be turning to meditation to help you release things that are no longer serving you, you know, or to seek answers deep within yourself. But I feel like a lot of the answers are coming up here because I do feel like you guys are definitely, like I said, it's, you guys are stepping into a really great place right now with the Page of Pentacles here and the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy, the Eight of Cups. In the moon, Cancer, Pisces. Tell me the Fool card here. Why is the Fool card here? And the Four of Swords. So the moon, Cancer, Pisces, the Four of Swords, the Hermit, and the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. Right now at this time, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely in this energy of reassessing a lot at this time here. Because I also feel like, you know, uh, you guys are having like a lot of experiences in the 5D right now. And you feel like you guys are trying to make out what these things mean to you. Because I feel like you're definitely getting a lot of signs from the universe here. Uh, from your guides and your angels and your ancestors regarding what you're holding on to and what you're not releasing here. Okay? So, you know, I do feel like, you know, you guys are doing the work. But you're not putting it into practice. You know what? I, does that make sense? Like, I feel like you guys are aware. You guys are, you know, absorbing knowledge and wisdom. But you guys are not applying it to yourself. Which is the most important thing. Is to apply it to yourself. Okay? So, uh, Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video. Share this video. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.